Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow, or the next day, or the very near future. Okay, we're, the timing is fluid, alright? But I feel uh, like I've felt for the last couple days, this is, this is more in the very, very, very near future, put it that way. Okay, like soon, super soon, okay. So, what do we got? This is the Crystal Visions deck. This reading is not sign specific, okay. This is a daily energy that I am picking up on. Ooh, the Four of Swords reversed and the Emperor reversed. Now, this is a loss of control, a loss of concentration, okay? Uh, somebody may be feeling ill, feeling sick, okay? Um, needing to take a rest, needing to take a nap, something like that. Um, this, the Four of Swords, the Four of Swords is a feeling of, I mean, the Four of Swords in reversed is exhausted. There could be some health issues, okay? Somebody could lose, be losing their focus and their concentration. Maybe they're working too hard, okay? Somebody could be working too hard, doing too much. Um, the Emperor in Reverse can also be somebody that is angry. It can be. They could be, they could be feeling overwhelmed, okay? So... And this, these, it's funny how these cards, they just fell out. So there could be a fallout. There could be a fallout that causes somebody to isolate themselves. Something like that. Um, this Four of Swords, this is, this is, this is a dead end. Okay, this is a dead end of some sort. The Four of Swords is a dead end. It's the death of an idea. It's needing to come up with a new plan. Needing to take a new approach. Okay. Um, somebody is very frustrated by the looks of things. Somebody may have been clinging to control and it's causing them to be exhausted trying to control things that are out of control, you know. Something is about to become out of control, put it that way. Whether you like it or not. The Eight of Pentacles. Now, this is working, working, working. Somebody is working too hard. Work, 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 work. And I, it's funny that I saw that. I saw that at the very beginning. Now, this is somebody that is working away. It's like, they all of a sudden, it's like, damn. This is, it's almost like they, they crash. You know, they crash because they've overdone it. The hangman. So this is somebody who is sacrificing themselves needlessly, working way, way, way too hard. You know, you don't have to work that hard. If it's stealing your energy, if it's depleting your soul, it can cause you to be sick. You need to take somebody really, really needs to take a break. Just relax for a minute. Relax. You know, somebody's exceeding their limitations. You know, when you overdo it, bad things can happen. Accidents can happen. Hmm. The chariot. The chariot reversed. This is somebody who, you know, really needs to put the brakes on. Again, brake break this is take a break this is put the brakes on this is take take a break please before you get hurt i don't know who this message is for somebody needs to take a break this is a loss of control again with this one a loss of direction
three of pentacles reversed. No teamwork, getting no help from somebody else. It's like doing, doing it all. Somebody is doing it all, doing all the work by themselves, and it's causing them to be truly exhausted. This person is trying to prove how strong they are, absolutely, with the hangman. Trying to prove themselves to whoever it is that they're trying to prove themselves to. Could be the boss, right? I don't know. Could be a husband, could be a wife. Somebody is, is, try, is really, really, really overdoing it. Working too hard. Maybe they're trying to gain respect. I don't know. I mean, that's what something is going on here that is not healthy. There's lack of harmony with others. Somebody is not on the same page. There's a lack of energy and ambition. Somebody really needs to refocus uh, about who they're working with because, you know, maybe it's out of your control. It is out of your control, isn't it? Not on the same page. Somebody is not on the same page. They're not realizing. They're not realizing or they're not seeing a situation clearly. Whatever. That chariot reverse. We got somebody here that is really trying to prove themselves and they're sacrificing their energy, their life even. Hmm. Nine of Swords reversed. This is extreme exhaustion. Oh my God. I'm telling you what. If you don't take a break, you could have a heart attack. You could have a stroke. You need to slow down. You, you, you need to take a break to breathe. You need to take a break to rejuvenate. You need to take a break to regather. Caution. Be careful. Be careful. I'm telling you right now, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but somebody is overdoing it. Whether it's on a home project, you know, somebody could be getting ready for winter, or they're trying to get all the stuff done before snow flies, or I don't know, maybe they have a deadline that they have to meet, or something like that, and they're, they're not getting enough sleep. And when you get deprived of sleep or food, of rest, your shit shuts down. Somebody needs to take a break. They need to take a nap, <laughs> a long one. Queen of Swords reversed. Now, this is not seeing a situation clearly. Oh, my God. Huh. Working hard. Somebody is working really, really hard. Sacrificing themselves. We have this lonely individual. This person is lonely. There's somebody maybe trying to prove something to their freaking ex. Just saying. I mean, that just, the Queen of Swords can be an ex. This is proving, proving a point. Hmm. Now, this person is lonely. This person is bitter. This person is resentful. This person is not seeing a situation clearly. Stuck, holding on. Somebody is holding on, putting in effort. Now we're going down another road here. Somebody is not seeing a situation clearly, putting in effort, holding on to something needlessly. <laughs> and 
And that could be causing mental exhaustion. Holding on to something that isn't meant for you. Out of, you know, this could be out of spite. <laughs> this is a very spiteful individual. Somebody could be dealing with a spiteful individual who just doesn't help them. I mean, if you see what it's mirroring each other, this person doesn't work. Somebody, I mean, that could be the case. You could be dealing with somebody that doesn't put in their share, fair share. This person is um, a bitch. Sorry, that slipped. Anyway, um, doesn't doesn't just doesn't do her part. This person doesn't do their part. Judgment, judgment reversed. Judgment reversed. Definitely not seeing a situation clearly. That's for darn sure. Lack of awareness here. Somebody is unaware. They are unaware that they just need to put something to a halt. Seriously, you need to stop. The chair reversed is stop. So it's basically a stop sign. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Stop with the dead end. Stop with that old idea. Stop. You can't control it. It's out of your control. So I don't know what this means, but somebody needs to just take a break and stop. Stop doing whatever it is. Stop overdoing it. Stop putting in effort to prove yourself to whoever it is. Whether you're, I don't know, somebody's trying to prove themselves to somebody. Needlessly. It's total, total, total needless. They're all on the same page with the person anyway. Three of Pentacles reverse. It's like these two people, they don't even think alike. They're not on the same page. They don't work well together. <laughs> One person doesn't put in any effort at all. Magician. Now this is a card of... Well, where is it going to go? Right here. Manifestation. Unaware that somebody's somebody could be being manipulated. This is unaware. Working hard to prove themselves to this person who doesn't even care. This person is cold. The Queen of Swords in reverse. This person is cold and bitter and resentful and hateful and spiteful. So somebody's working hard to prove themselves to this bitch. They are unaware that they can have whatever they want if they stop investing, if they stop giving their energy away to this person. Somebody may be unaware that they are being manipulated. They are being tricked. Somebody could be dealing with a trickster. Somebody that is very skilled. Very clever. Five. Conflict. Oh my God. Tension over here. We have this person that is, is trying to prove themselves with this individual who likes to fight, loves conflict, thrives on tension. This person, person thrives on competition. Really, this, it feels like this person likes to get people going, you know, loves pettiness. This is a very petty individual who will do anything to cause a conflict. So it looks to me as though we have somebody here that is about, I mean, there's going to be, there's probably going to be a fight. Okay. There's going to be a fight by the looks of things. This is a fight of some sort. It's like, who's going to, who, this person, this person doesn't want to do anything. And this person is, this person is going to, is, is going to probably pick a fight so that they don't have to do anything. The 
This is picking a fight. Somebody's going to pick a fight. The High Priestess. We have the High Priestess here. The High Priestess is somebody that uses her inner resources to harness power. Like I said, this person is very, very, very skilled. Very powerful. Very. And she knows it. She or he. This person uses silence and non-action to harness power and that's what we got here and it causes conflict and it causes the other person to get frustrated very clever very clever individual here clever as hell that way I don't have to do anything so they pick a fight so they don't have to do anything. The other person storms out. The other person says, you know what, I don't even want to be around you. Whatever storms out because they, this person has made them so frustrated. That's called emotional blackmail, by the way. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have somebody here that's not telling the truth. So fucking clever. Oh, I'm sorry. Knight of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that doesn't want to work. Doesn't want to put any effort in any effort. At all. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Lazy. Somebody is dealing with a very lazy, lazy, lazy individual who wants to benefit they want to benefit from another person's hard work. And I feel as though there's going to be a fight. There is going to be a fight. Because this can only go on for so long. When there's a lack of respect and there's a lack of communication and there's a lack of teamwork. Something, somebody's going to burst and I really see it. Somebody's going to get angry. Somebody is about to get angry and there's going to be a fight. It's like they asked for it. You fucking asked for it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's funny the, the way my tones change with each reading. It's part of the reading. Okay, it's just the way it goes. That's part of it. And I don't, I don't plan it that way. It's just the way it goes. So... I feel as though somebody isn't putting in their fair share and the other person that is is about to get really upset. And it's almost like this person, this person did this on purpose. Very clever individual has, has picked a fight so that they don't have to do the work. You know what I mean? So fucking clever. Justice. Justice Woo is about to be served. Gotta love justice, don't ya? With all that is fair and just. So this is a card of karma. It's a card of karma. It's a card of finality. So something is about to be made fair. All is all is fair in love and war, right? So something is about to be made fair. Somebody is about to see something from a new perspective. They're about to probably see something. This is this is seeing a situation. Wake up. After not seeing, this is like they're gonna see that they're dealing with this. Well, you know. You know what I'm talking about. This person. 
they're gonna see who they're dealing with and it's like it's like they're gonna make some sort of final decision it's like the sword that cuts this person free to cut themselves free that's what this is that's gonna cut themselves free from this person okay got the sword cut this person free from this person so somebody's about to be cut free from an individual who, you know, is it very nice? Anyhow, there's going to be some sort of battle. There's an upcoming fight or an upcoming situation that is very tense. There's tension, okay? A conflict. Somebody is about to be cut free, maybe even by another person. Somebody might come in and, I don't know. Looks like there's an angel here. Could be, I don't know. So somebody is about to be cut free from this witch they've been dealing with. Six of Swords reverse. We have somebody here that has been reluctant to go, right? Reluctant to move on. Exhausting themselves mentally. Total mental exhaustion holding on to this situation. I'm surprised we don't have the tower. But we do have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. So yeah, things are about to change. Destined change, of course. The cycle is about to end. This is a card of karma and destiny and change. Whatever is happening is happening to bring you closer to your life's purpose. It's time to leave that situation behind. This is a lucky break. So somebody is about to end something. This is a 10. It's a completion. A cycle is coming to an end. And this cycle has been totally, totally, totally exhausting. In more ways than one. So, I feel like today is a day of justice. It's a day of finality. It's a day of karma. And it's a day of breaking free. It's like somebody <laughs> decides to take their power back. Decides to take their power back. And it feels like they just, it's not planned. They just get up and go. And that's what I got. Good luck.